Alexa, what's going to be the most popular e-bike of 2024? GoPower bikes will be the most popular e-bike of 2024. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Alexa, who's the best e-bike YouTuber? I don't know, but it's definitely not you. What? Alexa, why are you so rude? Shut up and get on with the unboxing and assembly of the GOAT power bikes people are waiting. Oh, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing and assembly video of the Motor Goat from GoatPowerBikes.com. I think this is going to be one of the most popular e-bikes of 2024. Amazing value, amazing top speed, amazing specs. And I did actually ask you guys in my Facebook group, e-bike addicts, and on my YouTube channel, if you guys did want to see an unboxing and assembly video of this. And most of you guys actually said no, just get right to the performance testing. And I was going to do that, but as always, we're in New England and it's snowing today again. So we have nothing else better to do but unbox this bike, put it together, and I'm going to film it for you guys so you know exactly what to expect when you get your GOAT power bike. Sometimes you see other YouTubers, they film unboxing videos, they have to rip apart the box, kick it open, pick up the bike. I don't know why they do all that work. It's so easy. You just do this and that's it. There it is. Let's go ahead and get all the styrofoam off, get those zip ties off, and let's take a look at this bike. Look at that logo. Nice. Very nice. Mmm. Nice. Look at that. Look at all those holes for mounting stuff. And here's that front wheel with the 203 millimeter rotor. Very, very, very nice. By the way, guys, when you are putting a bike together, if you're putting bolts into the bike, it is not recommended to use power tools. Generally, you want to do it manually. Just use a set of regular old Allen wrenches. But if you are removing a bolt, for me personally, I just use a power tool because the likelihood that I'll strip this is very, very low versus if I'm putting the bolt in, you don't want to use this, you want to use this. We're going to get this textured area centered in the middle of the stem, throw this top piece on. First, we're going to loosely tighten the bolts down, making sure we go across. And then we're really going to tighten them down. Make sure you tighten the bolts across from each other one at a time. So for example, this one, this one, this one, this one. Don't go around. Don't do one side at a time. That makes sure that this is all tightened up evenly and securely. And the torque spec for these is real tight. Just kidding. And now what we went ahead and did is flip the bike upside down, making sure that the display was not going to be interfering with the ground and nothing on the control panels, nothing on the handlebars is gonna be damaged when it's on the ground. We're gonna remove this protective cover plate and throw the front wheel on. All right guys, so all we're gonna do is match up this axle with all its spacers to whatever the pictures say. And it looks like it does show up mostly pre-assembled. So this is going to be the disc brake side with the short side, and this is the non-disc brake side. So let's go ahead and throw this wheel on. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is throw this axle through this wheel first. Remember, guys, the part with the long spacer goes in the side without the disc. So we're going to go ahead and take this nut off at the end. Take that off. We'll throw this axle right through. Put this back on as it was. And then loosely add the nut to the side. And this caliper did come with this little disc brake spacer. You want to make sure to remove this before installing the wheel. And let's throw this wheel on. Spacer on the inside, everything else on the outside. And make sure these torque washers are also going to be facing up. 
I did take off the bolt on the other side to get this axle on. And now what I'm gonna do is make sure that this axle is centered because this side is way longer than this side right here. So let's go ahead and center that. All right, so now this is centered. What else I would recommend is cleaning this with some rubbing alcohol and also cleaning the inside of the bolt with some rubbing alcohol and throwing some blue Loctite on there just for peace of mind to make sure these don't unexpectedly come off. And tighten these down. Torque spec, real tight. I'm not kidding, these are very hard to strip out so you can tighten these down a lot, but we're not gonna tighten them down too crazy while this bike is upside down. We'll do that later. I'll probably take these off, throw the Loctite on there and then tighten them down a lot. There it is. Guys, by the way, this will happen a lot where you put a bike together and the caliper won't be perfectly lined up with the disc. That is okay, that is very normal. All you're gonna do is undo these bolts, do some side to side adjusting until it's not rubbing and then you're all set. It's very common on a lot of e-bikes that you get. It's rare that these are gonna come out perfectly centered, but it's a very easy fix. Montour Goat, Billy Goat. Interesting spelling, China. Let's see what's in this box. What's in the box? All right, guys, so this right here looks like the pedal kit. Yep, here we go. Here's that front chain ring. So you can have pedals on this bike if you want or you don't have to have them. I'm eventually gonna install these because I like having pedals on my bike. I just don't want any issues with the police when they see this bike and they see me not pedaling at all. That way I can pedal this bike and they can think I am adding power to the bike, but probably not because this thing has a lot of power. We also get the other crank arm. There it is. Pedals, well go branded. This looks like it is the pedal assist sensor. And you also get a Shimano Turney derailleur. Couple parts for the crank. Chain, and this looks like a crank arm tool. Very nice that they give this to you. The wire for switching gears. And this is the centerpiece that the crank arms and the chain wheel connects to. This sits inside the bike. Man, look at this wrench that they give you, wow. I've never seen this with any other e-bike. They give you a straight up ratcheting wrench. Nice, I love that. Derail your guard, very handy. Another piece for that chain ring to fit in. And let's see what's in this pack right here. All right, so you get another tool. I think this is another tool for installing the chain ring. Yeah, so this is actually another tool for the chain ring installation. Focus, come on, focus. And this looks like a freewheel installation tool. Another tool. And you also get a chain tool. So you can put the chain together, add or remove links if you want to. Very nice, obviously you're gonna need all of these. And there's that chain link tool. So very nice that if you do buy the pedal kit, you do also get all of these tools and you can use these tools for any e-bike. And you also get some cabling for the shifter cable to sit inside. And last but not least, the freewheel. I don't know if I'm gonna be putting this on. I don't know if I'm gonna be putting a shifter on this at all. I might end up just buying a single gear and throwing that on this bike, especially after the mods I have planned for it. Stay tuned. And in the box, I also have the frame bag with the Goat Bikes logo. There it is. There's the frame bag. I wonder what size battery you can fit in here. Hmm. And guys, this is a heavy box that they give you. Look at this box, interesting. It reminds me of some kind of laptop bag. Let's see what's inside. All right, guys, so let's see what's inside this box. I don't even know what's in here. Let's take a look. All right, so you have charger cable, keychain, the charger, this is a really heavy charger. Oh my God, let's see the amps on this charger. Wow, check that out. This is a four amp charger. This is one of the highest amp chargers I've had. I think this is actually the highest amp charger I have. Four amps, man, this battery is gonna charge really quick, but that's important because this has a 25 amp hour battery. This thing is heavy. You could throw this at someone and it would hurt. No, intrusive thoughts. Don't worry about that. What is this? Oh, this is the lock. 
This is the lock that you can put through the wheel and lock up your bike. Just another level of security. You can throw a standard bike lock on this bike and then also put this through the wheel and it'll be more secure that way. Let's see what's in here. Let's see what we got. All right, look at this. Full set of Allen keys. And these look to be like the foot pegs for this bike, which we will initially be installing. Later on, we're gonna throw some pedals on there, but for now, we're gonna run this with the pegs. Some basic tools for tire installation and repair. This is fantastic. They give you a full set of tools for maintaining your bike. Excellent job, Goat Power Bikes. Full set of Allen keys, more wrenches, and a screwdriver. And it looks like this box you can actually put somewhere on your bike and keep that as a repair kit. Wow, great thinking. This is fantastic, guys. I have never seen anything like this come with any other bike that I've unboxed. Fantastic work, Goat Power Bikes, for adding this into the box. Looks like we got our manual and one more wrench. Let's continue on. And here's the main battery of this bike, saran wrapped and protected. Specs on the battery, 60 volts, 25 amp hours, 1500 watt hours. That is awesome. Nice looking logo and this button, look at that. It shows you the charge, so it looks like blue, we're at full charge. Green, medium, red, you gotta charge up. Here's a bunch of numbers that are on the battery that you guys can screenshot if you guys care. And I almost forgot, we have one more box. Let's see what's in the box. All right, got our headlight. Nice looking headlight. I do have another e-bike with this headlight. It is a fantastic looking headlight. These designs on the side look really nice when they're lit up. Mounts for the front fender. This bike also does come with turn signals and these are flexible which is important because if you clip these, they won't break, they'll just bend and bounce back, so that makes these even more durable. And I know this bike has some type of a light pattern that it shines down the ground, that's probably where that light comes out of. What's in here? Okay, all right, so these foot pegs are for the back. These are for the front. All right, so we got both sets of foot pegs, the front and the back, nice. I probably will only install these because I don't want anyone else riding with me on my e-bikes because that's just more weight for me to haul around and I'm selfish and I want all the top speed I can get, all the acceleration. And here's the front axle that we're gonna need for installing the front wheel. And one last box, you do get some mirrors. Look at that. Let's check out these mirrors. All right, let's check this out. Some mounting hardware. All right, everything's nicely saran wrapped and protected. All right, metal mirrors. Look at that, nice and shiny. These feel very high quality. Looks like you can easily adjust the mirrors. And by the way, guys, the box also had this taped to it, and it looks like this gives you some instructions on how to mount the front wheel, along with putting on the mirrors. Look at this center cavity, wow. You know what that would be perfect for? A giant second battery. And I do know GOAT Power Bikes do sell second batteries that you can throw on here. But if you do want a custom made battery that will take up as much space as possible, give you as much range as possible, check out northeastbatterysystems.com. Kevin from Northeast Battery Systems can make custom batteries for you, almost any size, any voltage you want, at reasonable prices, and these are American-made batteries, not made by someone in China who's getting paid a dollar a day. These are high-quality batteries, and if you ever have any questions about the batteries, feel free to give him a call. He's always there to answer the phone. He works seven days a week. So if you need a battery for this bike or any other bike, check out northeastbatterysystems.com. Let's throw the foot pegs on. Right side, right over here. I would also recommend putting some rubbing alcohol on these threads and these threads, letting that dry, and then putting some blue Loctite on there. And the reason I tell you guys to use rubbing alcohol is because sometimes there's grease on the threads and that will prevent the Loctite from doing its job. 
But for today's video, we're gonna just throw these on as is and put some Loctite on there later. And by the way, this does screw in backwards. Usually it's righty tighty lefty loosey. This is backwards. Screwing it in lefty tighty. Back asswards. And now we'll do the other side. Righty tighty, just the way I like it. Here's the battery mount. Let's go ahead and throw that battery on. Man, this battery is heavy. Click. That's the sweet sound of a battery that is locked in. Make sure you hold this back portion down to allow the battery to click in. Otherwise, this is going to fall off your bike midway through your ride or earlier, and that's not good, guys. Let's go ahead and throw the front fender on. Now this front fender, if you look at it, it's only half of what you'd normally see on a fender. That's because this is just for the front and behind. And if you guys can see right behind that is another fender which sits on the frame. And this type of fender is just gonna give the bike a sportier look. And there we have it, front fender. Not a whole lot of wobble on this, thankfully, that's great. Now let's go ahead and install the light on these brackets as well as the turn signals. So what you first want to do is make sure this part of the bracket is clipped into this. And by doing that, you want to make sure these are loose enough so that you can move this around. Clip that in, tighten this down very loosely so you can still move this bracket around, but it's not too loose. And then you can put that headlight in between the brackets and then tighten everything down, adjust it to make sure everything is level and even on both sides. And like I said, from there, you can make small adjustments. And so for now, what we're going to do is just leave this as is. I'll, I'll tighten everything down later, but right now I just want to show you guys how to put everything together. And then you have your plugs, green to green. These are going to be for the turn signals later. Make sure to plug this in behind the light. And for the turn signals, make sure this little lens over here that the light is emitted from onto the ground is aimed down. So obviously this would have to be the left side and this would have to be the right side. We're going to take this bolt off, run this cable through the mounting hole, put the bolt back over and tighten everything down. And once you guys are done with that, as you can see, there are yellow plugs to plug the turn signals in. And I'm sure you guys are wondering which is which, which is left, which is right. So what we're going to do is just plug them in. And if we turn the left turn signal on and the left is blinking, we did it right. If it's the other one, we're just going to switch these around and we know it's going to work properly. And later on, we're going to zip tie this neatly down to make sure it's out of the way and clean looking. Let's grab the keys for starting the bike. You do get two sets of keys. This one is for starting the bike and then this one is for the battery. Here we go. Let's throw that in there. Boom. All right, turn signal is going. Looks like this is the hazard button. Let's turn that off. Okay, let's see if I got it right. Left, all right, we're good. We did it right, left and right. The right is working. As you could see, the pattern right over there lights up underneath the turn signals. Horn button, sounds like a beep. And let's turn it on, moment of truth. Goat bikes. So that's it for today, guys. That is the unboxing and assembly of the Goat Power Bikes Motor Goat. And again, Goat Power Bikes does sell a second battery for this bike, but if you want something custom made that fits into the center cavity of this bike, check out Northeast Battery Systems. Kevin will help you out. Great prices, American-made batteries. Give him a call, give him an email. That's it for today, guys. Until next time.